Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be on you. Welcome to the gems from the Quran. Alhamdulillah, we're still going on with the same chapter, the chapter of pen, Surah Al Qalam. And in the last episode, we stopped at the ayah number 44, where Allah Almighty said, Fadarni wa man yukadibu bihad al hadith. سَنَسْتَدْرِجُهُمْ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Which means, so leave me, O Muhammad, with the matter of whoever denies the Qur'an. We will progressively lead them to the punishment from where they do not know. So Allah Almighty is saying here to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and to those who are working in that field, the field of da'wah, the field of calling people to Islam, the field where they are telling people about the oneness of Allah Almighty, the field where they are going and telling the message of Islam, the message of peace. That's obvious that every time you do this work, people will deny you, people will not believe you, people will try to plot against you, people are trying to put you into troubles, and whatsoever. In this case, this is what Allah Almighty said to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he is also telling all of us, those who are working in that field, فَذَرْنِي وَمَنْ يُكَذِّبُ بِهَذَا الْحَدِيثِ So, leave me, O Muhammad, with the matter of whosoever denies the Qur'an. Allah Almighty says, سَنَسْتَدْرِجُهُمْ سَنَسْتَدْرِجُهُمْ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Allah Almighty will lead them slowly, slowly to the punishment from where they do not know. Our duty is to convey the message of La ilaha illallah. Our message is just to convey the message of oneness of Allah Almighty, the message of peace, the message of Islam, the message of this wonderful religion the religion of submission, that is Islam. So, if they accept it, Alhamdulillah. If they don't accept, just carry on. Make dua for them, supplicate for them, and carry on, and Allah will take care of them. And then Allah Almighty said, after that, that Allah will gradually will take them to the punishment where they do not know. Then Allah Almighty said in ayah number 45, وَأُمْلِي لَهُمْ إِنَّ كَيْدِي مَتِينَ And I will give them time. Indeed, my plan is firm. So Allah Almighty always gives time to the enemies, to the transgressors, to the bad people, to the sinners. But if these people are not returning back to Allah, not opening their eyes, not pondering upon things, not reasoning things, then... Allah Almighty says, Inna kaydi mateen. My plan is firm. Then Allah Almighty will take them. Then Allah Almighty will really put them into punishment. But before that, keep in your mind that Allah is Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Wadud, Al-Kareem, Al-Halim, which means He is the most merciful. He is the sufficient, the most sufficient. He is Al-Wadud, the kind. He is Al-Halim. He is the one with a lot of sabr and he gives and gives time. So never the case is that Allah Almighty is waiting to punish you. No. Allah says, وَأُمْلِي لَهُمْ I will give them time. Allah is Halim. Allah is gives time. And Allah is Rahim. Allah is Kareem. You go back to him and he will forgive you. And more and more about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will talk. But after the break, stay with us, inshaAllah. Welcome back, dear viewers. So, as I said, Allah said, وَأُمْلِي لَهُمْ إِنَّ كَيْدِي مَتِينَ I will give them time, indeed my plan is firm. So Allah is giving time to all of us. 
the good people and the bad people, the sinners and whosoever. And as I said even in the previous episode, that we all commit sins in a different levels. Everyone, according to the hadith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, كُلُّ إِبْنْ آدَمْ خَطَّاءَ وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ التَّوَابُونَ All the children of Adam, they make mistakes. They commit sin. And the best of the sinners and best of those who make mistakes are those who are good, who are the repent, those who repent to Allah Almighty. So imagine Allah Almighty is telling us through his Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that yes, we all make mistakes, but the best of those who make mistakes and sins are those who repent to Allah Almighty. And here Allah Almighty is very clearly saying, وَأُمْلِي لَهُمْ I will give them time. But if they don't come back, if they don't repent, and if they don't ponder and reason, then Allah says, إِنَّ كَيْدِي matin. Then indeed my plan is firm. Then Allah Almighty says, أَمْ تَسْأَلُهُمْ أَجْرًا فَهُمْ مِنْ مَغْرَمٍ مُثْقَلُونَ Allah Almighty said, أَمْ تَسْأَلُهُمْ أَجْرًا فَهُمْ مِنْ مَغْرَمٍ مُثْقَلُونَ Or, do you ask of them payment? So they are by debt burdened down. So you know, if you ask them any ajr, if you ask them any uh, reward, any payment, they will be saying that, you know, they are by debt burdened down. It means like, you know, they cannot even help anyone. They cannot do anything. So, there is no any point of asking them any payment or asking them any reward. And then Allah Almighty said also about these people, أَمْ عِنْدَهُمُ الْغَيْبُ فَهُمْ يَكْتُبُونَ or have they have the knowledge or do they have the knowledge of the unseen so they write it down. They have no any knowledge of unseen. No one has any knowledge of unseen except Allah Almighty. And what he said or told us in Quran or through Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So no one, no one knows about unseen. And Allah is asking them, do they have the knowledge of unseen? So they write it down, they come up with some information. So by default, they cannot give any ajr, they cannot give any payment, they cannot give any reward, because they by themselves, they are burdened down with depths. And Allah Almighty says, أَمْ عِنْدَهُمُ الْغَيْبِ فَهُمْ يَكْتُبُونَ Or do they have any knowledge of unseen? So they can write it down? Of course not. Then Allah Almighty says, فَاصْبِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبِّكَ وَلَا تَكُنْ كَصَاحِبِ الْحُوتِ إِذْ نَادَى وَهُوَ مَكْضُومٌ Allah Almighty here saying, Then be patient for the decision of your Lord, O Muhammad, and be not like the companion of the fish, when he called out while he was distressed. So Allah Almighty now telling Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, have some patience, have some patience. Have some patience, Allah Almighty will have some decision. Allah will come with decision. وَلَا تَكُونْ كَصَاحِبِ الْحُوتِ Do not be like the companion of the fish. Who is the companion of the fish? Yunus alayhi salam. Yunus, peace be upon him. He is, was the messenger, but he, he rushed. And then something happened to him. And of course, it has a long story. And then Allah says, don't be like the companion of fish. So have some patience. And this is for all of us. We have to have patience while we are doing da'wah work. And we ask reward from Allah Almighty. Again, we have a lot of things to be said, inshallah ta'ala, in the upcoming episode from the same surah. Stay with us, inshallah ta'ala. Take care of yourself. We'll see you next week or the next episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.